First of all, on the left hand side, we have a toolbar. On this toolbar, you have a pointer tool for selecting and navigating. You have a templates tool, and there's lots and lots of templates, which uh, I'm not going to get into, but they're great. There's a text tool, a sticky note tool, a shape tool, and the shape tool actually has quite a few shapes, but you know, it's not as extensive maybe as some diagramming or illustration tools. There's a connection and line tool. There's a pen tool. There's a comment or note tool, a frame tool, an upload tool, and more tools. So there's a Google image search tool. This is great. I am going to type in uh, <clears throat> something where I know what I will find here. Uh, look at this. There's my bike. I'm going to select that and add that into the mirror board. And there we go. That's my bicycle. Um, now, <clears throat> the great thing about any object on the mirror board is that you can manipulate it. And when you select an object, a little pop up shows up either above or below the object that allows you to make changes. So in the case of images, you know, you can crop them. This is already cropped, but let's say I just wanted to show off my front wheel for some reason. There we go. Now, um, the other tools then can be added to that overlapping in any way, shape, or form. So a typical yellow sticky. Hi, there we go. Um, now, if you move it around, clicking and dragging, you see it has a little bit of a shadow and outline so that it feels like a sticky, as opposed to just doing a square box where you click and drag and, oh, there's my box. Um, you can make a box look like a sticky with color choices. Um, and line choices, but uh, the fact is, is that it doesn't have that um, shadow effect. Now, there's also alignment tools. So if you want to align things centered or um, abutting or, um, you know, in a corner, for example, there we go, it's perfectly cornered. Um, likewise, internally, Okay, that's centered, that box is centered. You can also change one shape to another shape by clicking on the switch type button. And let's change this to a sticky. There, I now have another sticky. Hi again. Okay, the freeform drawing tool is good. You have three different sizes of pens and you can switch the colors on those by clicking them a second time. Let's make this a nice medium blue. Okay, and then we, draw, you know, drawing with um, a mouse is never that easy, but here we go. Nice curl around the thing and likewise a nice thicker line and thin lines for writing text um, or other more detailed things. Hi, again, I'm not going to write again because it takes too long. Um, the, the arrow can do connections between things. So we can say connect from there to there, for example. And now if we drag around these two stickies, the connection actually follows that around. And finally, the text tool is fairly straightforward, although it does start a little bit small. Hello there. And of course you can change the font size here and increase it. Uh, there are some fonts available, including some you know, fancy ones, um, some very straightforward, simple ones. Whatever fonts you happen to like is all great. You can change the background of the uh, text. We got to select all the text to do that. There we go. So depending on what kind of pointing device you have, I have a mouse with a scroll wheel. So I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Um, the zoom does have limits. We can go into 400% zoom or out to, um, actually normally it's about 2% zoom, but uh, for now, it's 25%. That's fine. If you discover that you want to just go back to 100% zoom, you go down here to where you've got the percent zoom in the bottom right hand corner, click on the number and it automatically brings you back to 100%. You can use the pluses and minuses to zoom out and in. And <clears throat> um, if you make some sort of mistake, let's say, oh, you know what, I just put a sticky here. I don't want that sticky there. You can always undo with the backwards facing arched arrow at the top of the window. Undo, yay, it's gone. Now, what I'd like you to do is to sign into Miro. Uh, there is a free option, set up an account, create a board, and 
try and create some silly little diagram or drawing using some of the tools that I've illustrated. Please do that before you attend your learning event. 